how to overcome weight loss self-doubt. And this is a common thing that most people are affected by when it comes to starting off on a weight loss program. And I've been in this sector now for well over two decades and self-doubt is one of the things that nags away at most people's uh, self-confidence when it comes to achieving their goal. Because let's be honest, there are so many different facets to losing weight. You know, you've got the mindset stuff to work on, you've got the, the eating to work on, you've got the exercise. Uh, and it seems as if every other week there's a new thing that comes into the marketplace telling you what you, t you should be doing, how you should be doing it, uh, and when you should be doing it. And if you're not doing those things, it's very easy then to start measuring yourself against other people, thinking that you're doing terrible and just give up on the whole thing because of this self-doubt that you can be absolutely engulfed by. So I just want to share with you something that I shared with people last night on my live webinar. Uh, one of the ways you can start to overcome this sense of self-doubt that we, we can all feel from time to time. And indeed myself, when I've had to lose a few pounds in the past, I've had to overcome self-doubt as well. So one of the things you can do, and this was something used by a client of mine, Sue, who actually went on to lose five stone, one pound, and that is to take a look at what you're currently doing in terms of anything really, be it you're optimistic about a particular thing on a daily basis, maybe you have a healthy whatever, it might be a breakfast, it might be a glass of water, maybe you walk your dog regularly. It can be something really small. It hasn't got to be anything particularly significant, anything particularly big, but there's something that you are currently doing on a, on a regular basis, let's say, uh, that you're happy about doing. The goal here is to recognize what you're doing and to take that and build upon it. Because I can guarantee you now you will be doing something, no matter how small, that you can build upon to start to erode away that self-doubt and start to build a bit of self-belief. You know, I can recall when I first started working with Sue, uh, she was walking her dog five mornings a week, sometimes seven mornings a week, and she completely discounted that as being anything of any value. And I said, well, no, we, we can build on that. You are doing something um, on a consistent basis uh, that most people are not doing, so let's take that and build upon it. And that's exactly what we did. We built on what she was doing and we built on her you know, personal belief, uh, her mindset. You know, we spoke about her values. Um, we spoke about you know, putting herself first, which I know for some women it's, it's particularly difficult. And then we sort of started looking at her eating and her exercise in a little bit more detail. But the key thing was we took what she was currently doing and we built upon that. And you can do exactly the same. And here's why this is important. Because when you build on something you are currently doing, you've got a nice solid foundation. If you don't recognize the thing that you are doing, and I can guarantee you'll be doing something well, no matter how small it is. If you don't recognize that, and you just suddenly start off from what you perceive to be scratch, zero, then really your chances of success are a little bit limited because you've gone from, in your mind, doing nothing to suddenly doing this new stuff You've got nothing to build it upon, and it's very, very easy then to fall back into the sense of self-doubt again. Whereas if you are building on something you're currently doing, then you've got the ability to build it higher and higher and higher. And the more belief you have, the more actions you take, the more actions you take, the more belief you have. But it all starts off with taking that first step built upon something that you are currently doing, no matter how small it is. Um, you know, if you want to speak about this in more detail, then feel free to you know reach out to me. I'm more than happy to have a conversation. Alternatively, depending upon where I've posted this video, there may well be a link to my uh, webinar which you can access today and go through that webinar where it talks about how to overcome self-doubt. Talks about how to avoid the number one mistake that over 40s make when it comes to losing weight. It also speaks about how to deal with life events that will crop up from time to time, which can self-sabotage as all. So just thought I'd share that with you this morning. Uh, feel free to leave any comments below if you've got a particular question that you'd like answering. Feel free to post that question and if I've got the knowledge, the experience and the proof behind it, I'll, I'll do a video on that as well. So uh, until next time, take care for now. Bye.